Hi, welcome to my video titled Corrections, A Hard Odyssey, Walking with Snakes. I'm Carl Torsbens. Photo was provided by Maggie Irwin. As a correction officer, you have surely but learned by now the many evils that lurk around you. Working inside a prison is no greater evil as it is likened to be like working in hell. You are cooped up all day inside a dark cave and surrounded by evil forces and violence. But it's your courage, your intelligence, and survival skills that allow you to escape these evil walls each day and go home. In this arena, going home is a win. Realistically, there are no leaders to applaud you on or cheer you up. You are reminded you have persevered through the worst, but the reality is it doesn't sound like much of a motivational speech, nor does it inspire you. Being stuck inside that darkened cave with the mass population of homicidal prisoners and enemies makes your day just that much more badly. The inspiration has to come from within and remind you of your ability to be resilient and hard as your force is greater than the others, but you are worn and in dire need of sleep. Restless, you don't want to let your companions down, so while fatigued you stand your watch, creating an attitude that you're made of iron and steel. Sometimes when you sweat or bleed, you're reminded you're a human, not godlike, but not normal human, as you endure and cope with this hellish heat that bears down on you in a furious glow ball of fire. Sometimes you're sucked down under the water, but somehow you always find the strength and energy to reach up and out so high above you and come up for air that's in the clouds. Daily you brace your feet and stretch your arms beyond the normal limits of your body and strain to get the work done. Your roots are those around you as you promise to take the six so they are safer than before but not out of reach of perils. In darkness you find feces, urine, and vomit and refuse to keel backwards at the foul smell around you. You long for peace but find hate. You yearn for kindness but you only find a harsh and toxic inhumane condition that causes you to rise your alert levels so that you do not walk into a pit of poisonous spirits that surround you daily. The law is on your side but it doesn't matter. The arrogance and bedlam around you dominate the environment moods and actions. You are judged, and your presence brings you many disputes and ill feelings by young and old, wearing chains but claiming innocence of their crimes. You try to laugh as you see the irony how they act, with the infected state of minds unknown to their families and lawyers. Surrounded by all creatures, you have to breathe the polluted air and walk among the demons. These castaways are society's rejects, but to you, they are the ones you have sworn to protect from each other. Inside you is the courage granted by God above you, while your knees suffer the endless pounding of the concrete below your feet. Some days you're blessed, and other days you're cursed. You never know what will you encounter, nor do you have the knowledge of their will. On a good day, karma and your loving God bestows you blessings and allows you to walk away and go home just to go back to this hellhole and do it all over again. So you suffer physically and mentally. But your perseverance you learn to endure with the endless enduring spirit bestowed upon you not by authority or position but by the courage you demonstrate as you walk these darkened caves one more time as always thank you for watching my videos and be safe